friends. Today's book is Russell the Sheep by Rob Scotton. Russell the Sheep by Rob Scotton. Russell the Sheep lived in Frog's Bottom Field. At the end of a long, busy day, night fell and the sheep got ready for bed. Soon all was quiet, except for Russell. No matter how hard he tried, Russell could not fall asleep. Poor Russell. Maybe if it were really dark, he thought, I'd be able to sleep. But the really dark really scared him. Perhaps I am too hot, he thought. Oh, perhaps not. He looks cold. Russell pulled up a pillow, but the pillow hopped away, hopping mad. What did he use as a pillow? A frog. Maybe I need a better place to sleep, he decided. And he went for a walk. Russell spied the trunk of a rusty car. It was too cramped. He tried the hollow of a tree, but it was too creepy. Russell even tried sleeping on a branch, but it was too crowded. Looks like there's a lot of owls who usually sleep there. They don't look very happy. What's a sheep to do? Russell thought he would never get to sleep, but then he had a brilliant idea. What if he tried to count things? That would make him fall asleep. Russell counted his feet. One, two, three, four. Not tired. Hmm, I guess I need more feet, he decided. What next? The stars. Russell counted each and every one. One, two, three, four, five, six hundred million billion and ten. And Russell was wide awake. He counted them again. Six hundred million billion and ten and still wide awake. Russell thought very hard. In fact, he thought so hard his hat went zigzaggy. I know, he shouted, I'll count sheep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Still awake, he said and sighed. Then Russell realized he had forgotten to count one very important little sheep. Himself. Ten. Russell felt a tickle, then a twitch, and then sound asleep. By now it was morning and all the other sheep in the fields began getting ready for a new day. This one's taking a shower, needing breakfast, stretching, brushing their teeth. Soon everyone was up. Everyone that is, except for Russell. The end.
Thanks for listening to my book, friends. See you next time.